What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. We're gonna be piecing together a little vlog for you guys today. Got my grandfather's truck here, ready to go. I'm planning on giving this truck an oil bath underneath today. It is getting to the cold weather season, and although we're still probably about two months out from spreading salt here in the state of Ohio, I'm just gonna get an early jump on it, so that even when it's sitting, being driven or whatever, we can try to keep this thing as clean as possible. So I'm gonna fill the rockers, the doors, spray the whole frame with oil and diesel mix today. That's gonna to be my objective. Everybody has their own methods to keeping their undercarriage of their trucks clean. That's what I'm gonna go with for this one just because I have a lot of excess used oil and it's just an easy formula to go with. Now I am gonna have this in black and white here because I can't show all this on the YouTube. It's opening weekend here in Ohio and uh, we're off to a good start. These are not all mine. One of them is mine. The other two are not, but we're off to a good start. We got the Holy Grail here. The 98 five speed 12 valve that comes with $5,000 cash. Every $1 is going to get you 30 entries towards winning, which is 3,000% more entries you're going to get than the every $1 gets you one entry. So always keep that in mind. And also the BOGO entry wheel is going to be ending here when launch week ends on October 2nd. So take advantage of that while you can. You can get 30x entries plus spin the wheel and you can get a couple thousand more entries, so it's a pretty sweet deal. Take advantage of it while you can. So today's topic is gonna to be rust prevention on these old Dodge trucks, and there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Some ways are a little more frowned upon. This might be one of those methods, but it does work, and it does keep those trucks from rotting out. I'm gonna show you what I do. You're gonna take some used motor oil, get the oil that comes out of your vehicle. For example, in this 2001 Dodge, this is a used oil that came out of this truck. I saved it specifically for this use. And then I got some dirty diesel fuel that came out of the Ford that we just gave away. This is from the fuel water separator, like that filtration system and all drained out in here. And there's probably, I don't know, maybe a, a half gallon at most. But all I'm gonna use is half of that probably mixed with oil in that sprayer, which is a two gallon sprayer. And that sprayer should cover most everything underneath. You don't need to absolutely saturate it, but you do need to get a good spray of oil mixed with this. And this is mostly just to make it a little bit thinner and easier to pump out of that thing. And essentially you're gonna just spray it anywhere there's exposed steel and all those hard to get spots. Anything under there that you can reach and get to, the floorboards, the cab mounts, anything, rear axle, front axle, coat it all up, try to get all up in there, fill your rockers if you have access to, and you can pop plugs out and spray it in there, the doors, everything. If you have the option to pop some of those plugs and seals out to be able to get oil in there, that's what we're gonna do. Use motor oil that actually came out of this exact truck. And we're gonna take some of those dirty diesel fuel. Now we should be all good to go. I made sure that the line, the line is completely primed with oil. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna start with this so I can use one hand. And you're just gonna take this and just literally oil spray everything under the truck and adjust your nozzle accordingly so you can get a good spray on it. But that's the basics of what we're doing. I'm gonna talk in the shop a little bit here before I get out there because the wind is like 20 mile an hour. I did oil bath the whole thing. I did the floorboards, the cab mounts, up behind the rear fenders, the front fenders, whole thing, absolutely coated, dripping with oil everywhere. Got in the rockers, got in the doors, everything. So it is soaked and it is, it is a mess. So I just started it up, packed it up just enough and moved it over and parked it. And I'm gonna let it drip probably for a good 24 hours before I actually drive the truck again, just because I did mix fuel and oil and I did get some on the exhaust and some other places. So I'd rather just give it plenty of time to hopefully 
get all the loose, really substantial oil to drip off before I actually drive the truck much. Just, just because the oil smell burning off the exhaust is gonna suck and it's just gonna make a mess if I park it up on the concrete by the house or anybody's driveway for the rest of the day. So it's gonna sit here for now. But let me show you what we did. You can see all the oil all over the gravel. Make sure you do this outside of a shop if you're worried about the mess. It's a messy process, but I only use about a gallon and a half of oil and a half gallon of diesel fuel. You can see the frame is substantially coated. I tried to get the underside of the bed again. The cab mounts, the frame. I filled a lot of these frame holes with oil. Inner and outer portions of the frame. It's all, it's all pretty well soaked. And then in this section up here, I filled the inside of the frame with oil more than anything else. There. And I filled up the those coil trays down there on the axle because those currently are not rotted out on this thing. I'd like to keep it that way. Again, cab mounts, keep them coated up because those are not very fun to change. And now I am going to be doing the same thing to Rosine since she's going to be parked here. I'm going to get her coated up and ready to go. And although this truck's not going to be getting driven in the salt, it will help if for some reason she would have to drive in the salt. But it does help too with just your truck sitting, collecting moisture coming up off the gravel or concrete if it's sitting in a barn. It does just kind of start to oxidate and stuff like that, even just sitting, especially if it's not a climate controlled environment. It's just bound to happen with the moisture and stuff stuff like that and temps changing up and down. So that's gonna get coated up as well just to keep it clean because so far, I mean, you guys have seen Rosine's frame before if you've been, a, if you've been around a while, but this truck is very, very clean and it's been like that pretty much since she's gotten it. There was one time there's a couple little orange spots on the frame and we got those sanded, wire brushed, and then painted up again. It's not fun having to replace body panels and frames and all that stuff. It's a pain in the butt, it sucks, it's expensive, so it's just a lot easier to take some used oil that didn't cost you anything and a couple bucks worth of fuel, mix it up, mix that diesel fuel with it, give it a good spray, give it a good soak. It's frowned upon in a lot of situations, but it does work. And on a totally different topic, I did want to show you guys something here with the Holy Grail. It does have the factory head unit in the truck. However, the factory head unit does not work, apparently. Would you guys like to see something as close as I can find to OEM replacement? Try to find an OEM one that still worked, put it in there? Or would you guys like to see something like what I put in my grandfather's old truck and put something in there that's a little bit fancier with a screen, Apple CarPlay, and all those crazy features? Let me know what you guys would like to see in this truck and I will try to get it ordered and installed as soon as possible. But I want you guys to vote. Or do you just want like a standard single den, something smaller? No flashy screen, you let me know. Either way, it's not a big deal. I just want to make sure that I give you guys the option to choose what you guys would like to see in this since it is going to be one of your guys' trucks very soon. Which brings me to my next question. What would you guys like to see for the next truck? I do like the element of surprise. Like this one was kind of a surprise. The one before was kind of a surprise. I do like picking out the trucks and kind of surprising you guys by that. But I also like it when you guys give me your input on what you'd like to see within reason and what would you guys like to see? I know you guys really like the Holy Grail and second gens in general and five nine Dodges in general. What would you guys like to see again? Or would you like to see a truck like this in a dually? Third gen manual, if I can find one of those in clean shape. Or would you guys just like to see another one of these exact same trucks but set up with a different wheel, tire, suspension, power combination? You guys let me know down in the comment section below. I do have one of these spotted and I told the guy I'm interested. It is literally identical to this truck, except for it's like a charcoal gray color, but it's a 98 five-speed four-wheel drive, short bed quad cab. It is super clean, super nice, low miles. It's a beautiful truck, literally almost to a T, this exact same fine four-wheel drive, beautiful truck. If you guys would like to see another one of those, you let me know because I don't have a problem with 12 valves. I really like them. But I also don't want to bore you guys if for some reason there's a part of you that just doesn't like the second gen Cummins or the 12 valves. Let me know, but I seem to be proven time and time again, every time I offer a 12 valve or a second gen in general, 
You guys seem to like it. So on the topic of the frame and how to make your Dodge truck never rust again, guys, that is gonna be my tip for the underside of the truck. If you can fill the rockers, the doors, you can freaking spray the floorboards, the cab mounts, inner and outer portions of the frame, just saturate everything out of there with used oil mixed with some diesel, it will help that frame hold in there a long time, especially if you do drive it in a lot of rain, you drive it in the winter, you gotta use your truck, but it's still pretty clean and you'd like to save it. It's a good way to go because although it might not work 100% if you still run it through the salt all winter and you can't keep it clean, I'm sure there's gonna be salt that gets somewhere that you don't coat, but if you coat it up like that and you keep your truck clean, it should really, really help if you can't get to it constantly in the winter and the cold weather. It should at least help tremendously keeping that thing clean, especially underneath where that salt gets all caked up and it's hard to wash off. A lot of times it can be easier to keep the body clean because you can just spray the salt off from the outside, but if you don't see what's going on on the underside, that's usually what gets you, especially on the second gens, is the frames will just, they will just crumble away if you let the salt get to them. Most trucks in general will do the same thing, but it just seems to be with these trucks, especially if you do not care for them properly, the frames and the undersides just, they just, they disappear. I mean, they just run away. But do it at your own risk and do what is best for you and what is allowed and legal and acceptable from wherever it is that you are because I do not want to be held responsible at all. If for some reason it is a huge violation where you're from to be doing that, then don't do it. Do it at your own risk. But for me, that's what I do. And it should keep your truck pretty stinking clean. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, hit that like, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so yet. If you want to get entered to win this Holy Grail 9812 Valve 5 Speed Quad Cap Short Bed, you can get entered to win this thing at lmpgear.com by simply placing an order and checking out and you're automatically entered to win. Right now we're running 30 times entries, which is 3,000% more entries than the standard one entry for every $1. And you can spin the wheel and win thousands of additional entries to add your order for launch week. Get in while you can. Thanks so much. Have a great day.